Ladies and gentlemen, this is UK Field Ninja. Um, so this is going to be uh, take two, because uh, the video I put up yesterday in the snow failed miserably, and uh, basically I ran out of battery. So um, back in that same field, trying to do a take two. So anyway, um, yeah, things has changed. So the weather's heated up a little bit. But it's still a bit crap. I also got the date wrong as well. Today is actually the 19th, yesterday was the 18th. So it's tomorrow, um, Tuesday, that will be the vinyl equinox where the day and night are equal in length. And then from there on, it will basically get more light and less dark. So, yeah, I, I think I finished by saying that I had shit loads of seeds. So basically, what I have is I have the seeds that I've bred. I have a whole heap of other seeds that just randomly got collected that are healthy looking, decent seeds. And I also got like a handful of blueberry feminized. Um, I don't know how they'll work out, but we'll see. So, anyway. Just to say uh, thanks a lot to all you guys who subscribe. Uh, also, uh, appreciate the comments as well. So if you ever want to have a chat or anything, just put something in the comments. I do read them and I will reply and reply in due course. Um, but yeah, so anyway, where I was about to go is, um, before I was rudely interrupted by the battery, is I'm here, out in this field going to partake in some of my <laughs> finest grade. Uh, it's not that fine a grade. Um, it's alright. It's I had about, what was it, it was like 423 grams in total um, dried and cured. I lost more than 100 grams to my own stupidness because I didn't dry the and I um, cured a jar which was damp, and my own stupidness led to that developing powdery mildew all over it. I popped the jar and was just like, oh man, that's like two plants, like in this jar, dead and gone, and I, I put it down the toilet. Don't put it down the toilet, it's really not a clever idea. Um, it floats and it won't flush away uh, at all, so yeah. Don't, don't do that, it's not clever. But, um, but yeah, anyway, so, unfortunately, um, everything has changed in my life. Uh, there were some comments from people saying about, oh, I hope it's all right, don't, don't worry, it's nothing like, it's life changing, but it's not an injury, and it's not a sickness, it's just life has changed. Um, so, things are, might be a little bit more interesting. Some of the videos might be a bit more difficult for me to do um, purely on the basis that uh, where I am now is is not so easy to grow and smoke um, and I'm having to find other ways to, to go about these things. Um, so some of the updates might be slow uh, in the beginning phases whilst I germinate the seeds. I'll, I'll do my best to show you as much germination. Um, I've got I don't know, 500 seeds, if not more than that. We'll see how many of them grow. My intent this year is that I'm going to germinate just as many seeds as I can. And I'm going to stick out as many plants as I can. And then from there, I'm going to see how many survive, how many are males. The problem that I have is I'm like almost about to run out. So I've not really got very much left. So... Um, I'm also going to have to grow some auto flowers, so there'll be some of those coming up as well, um, just for the quick time. So we'll we'll do some actual, I don't know if you want to call them legitimate seeds, but actual, um, you know, like, I'm, I'm going to think I'm going to grow bomb seeds, bomb.nl. Uh, they look quite decent, and they say they're alright for going outside. But it's cold, man, and, you know, germinating these seeds now when the weather is not even in double figures at the moment and all that snow is going to make things a bit delayed because realistically yeah you know like you, you put the plants out and they'll suffer the consequences of the cold 
Uh, give me two seconds, let me just light this up. Crafty lighter, man. some stuff from the streets so I was picking up from people and whatever and they give them all their fancy names and whatever and yeah they they smell really really strong really skunky smell and it smells really sweet and all the rest of it but as soon as I bun it up and I light it it's just nah, it's not really very nice but this stuff does not smell um, And so many people have commented to me to say, it doesn't smell like anything. Not, get straight, I'm not selling it to people, this is the people that I'm smoking with. Um, so yeah, they, they say it doesn't smell like anything. And um, then when they light it up and they smell it, it smells like um, old school orange bud, is, is what it smells like. Um, the stone is so clean. Um, it's so just not a head fuck at all you just sit and think really it's it's exactly the type of stuff i wanted mellow calm relaxing not a psychedelic head fuck um so yeah we are back we're not dead we're still breathing heart still beating we can still walk so i can still grow i'm gonna smoke the rest of this cry about how little i have left and how long it's gonna be before i have more because, um, do you know, after, after I grow my own, I don't see any reason why I should pay someone else for it. And the, the prices that they want is just stupid, man. You, you, you really want to pay, like, 35 quid for 3.5 grams is just mental. And it's even more expensive than that. It's just craziness. That's just greed, man. Just greed of people growing it. And when they're growing it for profit, uh, let, let to them have their due. But I will wait patiently until it's all grown. Cry a bit because <laughs> the jars are so so low. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that this season will be good, and I hope I'll um, give you some entertaining videos and so forth. And um, yeah, as, as you might have seen from if you're new to the channel or whatever. Um, you might have seen some of my videos are a bit ad hoc. The phone I've got is a bit shit. I do everything on my phone. Um, I don't use computers and shit like that. I have them, but I just don't use it. Um, so yeah, it's makeshift bootleg gorilla style, but we are gorilla growing. And this is really only just to document what I'm doing. So you guys got hints and tips, things you want to share, share them in the comments. I'll have a look at them, do a bit of research and you know, see, see if it's a worthwhile venture to go that way. But, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this year I'll be showing you hopefully in excess of 100 plants. I, I want to I wanna show you some, um, some crazy business this year. So we'll see how it goes on. Uh, hopefully the weather will stay all right. Um, and realistically this year... I'm looking for a kilogram. That that's that's the end weight that I want to get. So if we can get to a kilogram or as close to, I'll be happy. And then we'll we'll put that up each year as we go along and see see how we go. Cuz uh well, 423 or whatever grams it was was not enough. It was enough to get me through the winter to the start of the growing season, but it's not going to be enough to get me through all the way to the other end. So I'm going to need about a kg. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I had a bit of a thing about, you know, trying to grow this, um, uh, just naturally growing, this naturally growing weed that would just self-seed itself and whatever, and I was going to buy all, like, crazy seeds from the Himalayas and all this kind of stuff, but I figured the amount of seeds that I've got of the plants that I grew from last year, I can probably do it with those seeds, and since they have stood one growing season, got through to the end, have actually developed seeds, um, I think they stand a fairly good chance, so uh, why start from the beginning when I already have seeds, I was wasting money for no reason, so we'll see how it goes on. I 
might give some seeds away, I don't know, I'm a bit, you know, sending stuff out on the post and whatever, I don't really like identifying people and stuff like that, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But anyway guys, um, a little bit of a better cut this time I hope, um, but anyway, it's UK Field Ninja, see you guys next time.